everyone, my name is Royce Electron, welcome to Kyle is Famous. Now this is the free edition, I think that there might be a paid edition, but uh, I just found this on Steam, it's a free game, and I think this is the name of the, the developer, yes, <laughs> and yeah, Kyle is Famous. Is Kyle really famous? Does he have 22 subscribers? Are you more famous than me? Really? Do you? No? Probably yes. <laughs> Kylie woke up. He is famous. Hmm. You just woke up and you're famous. Ah. Uh, Kyle is host of the most popular talk show in the recent memory. Stay up late with Kyle. Ah, uh, no thank you. I would rather sleep early. <laughs> Stay up late with Kyle has grown in popularity quickly in the last year and the public has noticed. Ooh. Inside. Wait, inside? Isn't that the game that I played, the other game, with the little kid that's controlling things? People? Yeah. <laughs> Inside, I called Kyle a most excellent dumpy white man, air quotes. Top Tech noted that Kyle is inspiring youth to explore STEM fields. Okay, so is Kyle smart? Maybe. <laughs> most, are, most other talk shows are dedicated to discussing Kyle and his personal details. Most online videos are best of clips taken from Kyle's latest broadcasts. The eye of the world is upon Kyle. Tonight, Kyle's most important guest interview yet. Say a plate with Kyle will be featuring Rachel May. She is a kind and a lovely philanthropist. She is dear to the hearts of many. This interview requires preparation. Am I Kyle? Am I famous? <laughs> Kyle cracked his eyes open, knowing today is his last chance to prepare, prepare for the interview. Kyle has 30 hours left. He must choose his actions wisely. I am Kyle. Kyle's first decision of the morning was made wisely. Exit the bed. Kyle excited his bed. Exited his bed. <laughs> excited. Kyle exited his bed and took a quick glance around his bedroom. Opened the closet. Hmm. Probably. Do I? Sleep naked? No, I don't. So I don't need to open the closet. Why do I need to open the closet? Sit at the desk. Why do you sit at the desk? You sit at the chair on the desk. Scavenge. What am I going to scavenge on? Do I have like a messy bedroom? Probably. Exit bedroom hallway. Be exit bedroom to hallway. Yes. I'm going to eat my breakfast. Uh, Check locked door. Check locked door. How can I fucking... Read this bed. <laughs> Kyle walked into a small hallway with, that connected the rooms on his apartment of his apartment together. Uh, let's move to kitchen. No. Kyle walked over to the strange door in the hallway, but found quickly that the door was locked from the inside. Uh, force door with forehead. Yes. Ah. Boom. No. No sound effects. Okay. Uh. Kyle probably hurt his head doing that, but Kyle decided it would be best to try to force the door open with his with the use of his face. Ow! Ooh, there it is! <laughs> Ow! That sounded so loud. That that must have felt like a freaking gunshot to his head. After smashing his features into solid wood for several minutes, Kyle gained severe short-term amnesia. How do you do that to yourself? Don't, don't, don't you think that a few bangs is enough? Like, bro. <laughs> uh, move to kitchen. Kyle walked into the, to the kitchen of the, what? Kyle walked to the center of the kitchen. I can't read. Ah. <sighs> Open fridge. And, ooh. Eat crust on the fridge wall. Ah. Uh. Prepare breakfast or eat the fridge. Eat condiments. Eat the fridge! Kyle pointed his neck directly upwards and hoisted the fridge on top of his face. Somehow, miraculously, he wrapped his, he wrapped his mouth around the device. He started to swallow. In one slow, horrible movement, <laughs> the fridge slid down Kyle's throat. What? Kyle, what are you doing to yourself, Kyle? Uh, is your fridge, like, bite-sized? <laughs> After many... Gurgles, pops, and snaps, Kyle felt relatively sure that the fridge would not come back out. Kyle walked to the center of the kitchen. Check pantry. Kyle 
wanted to access the pantry, but found it was locked with a small keyhole. Okay, so I need to get my, um, I need to get a key. Turn to bedroom, open closet. Uh, Kyle opened the closet. It was dark and he, up he could only really see his hanging shirts. Choose an outfit. Uh, suit of armor. Yes, that's how we're going on to our interview. Kyle was unsure of what exactly caused him to decide to wear his armor, but it felt like the right thing to do. Yes, that's my decision. <laughs> that is the only thing that's right. Wait, what is this in amnesia, bad food, and armor? Okay, after much squeezing and sweating, Kyle managed to wrap the metal suit around his dumpy self. Back to room. Set a desk. Hmm. Check in desk drawer. And let's see. Is there a small key? Yes. Back to desk. Uh, write notes for interview. Uh, Kyle wrote down his first question. Is your mother a mother? Hmm. Are you a mother? Am I a mother? Is your mother a mother? Hmm. What would be the wisest question to ask? Hmm. Am I a mother? Kyle wrote down his second question. What are some diet tips? Beef mashed mashed or blended? Ever eaten a raw egg full? I me personally I haven't. But I've drank <laughs> raw egg. Uh obviously if you eat a raw egg whole, it includes the shell, but no, I've just drank the egg inside. Ugh, I remember the taste. Ah, it had salt though. It was like for a project in school, and it, there's like leftover egg, <laughs> and I drank it. <laughs> Kyle wrote down his third question. What's your funniest story? Do you ever smile? I purposely ran over a puppy. Is that a question? No. But am I gonna say it? Yes. Kyle wrote down his last question. What's your guilty pleasure? Do you ever feel guilty? Are you guilty? Yes. Did you kill the child of my mother? Wait, did you kill me? No. <laughs> Kyle ripped his page of notes out of the notebook and got up from the desk. Kyle made his way over to his desk and sat down. Showtime. Oh, dot dot dot. Kyle hurried to the set. Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman with a with an air of genuineity. Is that how you read it? Probably. <laughs> As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Good evening, Kyle. She said, looking at him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. Kyle responded. Forget. <laughs> uh, hello. Um, me. Kyle's ears began to ring from his concussion. Rachel looked at Kyle slightly confusing, but continued smiling more. Before she noticed the glazed look on in Kyle's eyes, the producer approached. Time to get started, he start, said, putting a hand on Kyle's shoulder. Let's get stationed. Kyle sat in the nearest chair, which was Rachel's. After a moment, Rachel hesitantly sat in the host chair. Huh. What was that? Th that felt like a freaking creepy laugh. A moment after seating, the studio lights brightened and the cameras clicked on. Start broadcast. Oh, good morning, everyone, said Kyle. My name is, uh, Slim Sh- No. <laughs> Kyle made a desperate effort to remember his name or really anything. Kyle looked at Rachel. Do you know who I am? He asked Rachel. Rachel looked back, confused. Who are you? Well, if you're not Kyle, I don't know who you are. Rachel smiled sweetly. Kyle made up his mind that he was probably Kyle. Well, um, he said, I'm Kyle. A long silence followed. Eventually, Rachel spoke again. Um, I'm Rachel. Hi, everyone. She waved. Hi, Rachel, said Kyle. So why are we here? Rachel was visibly worried. Ha, <laughs> ha, funny, she said. Weren't you planning to ask? Asking me any questions? I mean, don't have any... I don't have any ideas, said Kyle. Kyle kept staring at Rachel. Someone coughed. Kyle looked at, around and noticed the crew. Who on earth are all of you? He asked. Nobody answered. Kyle got out of his chair and walked off frame, leaving Rachel alone with millions of viewers. Oh, 
You have millions of viewers. Okay. Rachel smiled at the camera nervously. Well, she said, let me tell you some knock-knock jokes. Eventually, the producer ended the broadcast early to technical due to technical issues. Kyle woke up in his bed the next day remembering nothing about what happened. And Kyle forgot everything. Oh. Uh, uh, was I supposed to, like, make the interview finish? Uh, like, uh, make the interview successful? I don't know what word. Uh, okay. So, let's go. No, wait. Why are all these here? Do I need to reset it? Kyle's first decision of the morning was made wisely. Okay. Oh, this is just a story. Uh, restart. Kyle's first decision of the morning was made wisely. Wither away. Kyle decided to stay put and wither away. Kyle withered successfully and died. Shucks. Kyle's now a ghost. This does not relieve him of his responsibilities. Wait. So I died just like that? I just decided to wake up and die. That is some next level waking up strategy. <laughs> oh. Kyle exited his bed and took a quick glance around his bedroom. How can I open the closet to find my ghost? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Skunk pasties. Slick suit. Jeans and swimming goggles. Yes. Kyle decided on a fashion forward casual style. Casual, yes, with the goggles. <laughs> Barely see out of the goggles. Yes. Uh active the bedroom. Move to kitchen. Let's go and open fridge and eat some condiments. Kyle started to grab condiments from the fridge, squirting them into his mouth with both hands. Yes, I'm eating mustard and ketchup and and uh soy sauce and I don't know. Ketchup, horse rajas, and mayonnaise entered Kyle's mouth at a rate that soon overwhelmed his ability to swallow. Yes, now the food is food. That's not food, that's condiments. <laughs> Kyle spewed the excess condiments slurry across the kitchen, covering the furniture and walls. Ew. Ah, I can imagine it all. Kyle continued until all of the condiments had been emptied. Kyle, you're a freaking psychopath. What are you doing? <laughs> you don't have to... Eat all of it. Kyle walked to the center of the kitchen. Uh, leave apartment. Hmm. Visit. Downstairs neighbor. I should say hi to them. Kyle approached his downstairs, na downstairs neighbor's door and knocked. A middle-aged woman named Gabby answered the door. Greet and start conversation. Good morning, neighbor, said Kyle cheerfully. Gabby looked at Kyle expectantly. Hmm, you're not noticing the amount of mustard and ketchup on my t my shirt. No? Probably not. Ask Gabby about Gabby. Ask Gabby about Rachel. Hmm. Gabby, Gabby. Gabby. Ask Kyle. Tell me about yourself. Are you girl? Uh, Gabby stiffened. Oh, you, you know, she said, putting on a fake smile. I just sit around here. Yes, I don't get enough go around much. Never go out at night. I just stay here, right here. Gabby glared at Kyle. Convinced by Gabby's statement, Kyle bid her goodbye and returned to the street. Back to the street we go. Wait, I was on the street. Okay. Uh, turn to apartment. Wait, returning to my apartment takes an hour. Okay, that's that's a pretty long, uh, exit. Uh. Hallway, I don't know. <laughs> Check locked door, no? Move to bedroom. Sit at desk. Check in desk drawer. Small key. Back to desk. More. Wait. No, I didn't have enough time. Oh. Why am I playing it like this? <laughs> I'm just messing around. Uh, I feel like I need to get something from that locked door. <laughs> I, I think I need to play this seriously. <laughs> For normal, he ceased to be a ghost before he arrived. Before he arrived, he ceased to be a ghost. So he went, he went back to life. He, he, he was 
he was faster than Jesus. Jesus took three days. He just had like 30 hours, 20 hours. I freaking forgot already. <laughs> Sitting across from his glass chair, host chair, was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Good evening, Kyle, she said. I've been looking him in the eyes. I've been waiting. I've been looking forward to being here. Kyle responded. Scream and spin in circle. Answered politely. And I as well, Rachel. Answered Kyle, extended his hand, greeting. You are most you are a most welcome guest. Shake hands. Now after other mild exchange of pleasantries, Kyle and Rachel were prompted to take their places for the broadcast. A moment after seeing the studio lights brightened seething. <laughs> the studio lights brightened and the cameras clicked on. Start broadcast. Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking back, looking at the camera. Welcome back to Stay Up Late with Kyle. Introduce Rachel. Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely Rachel May, who needs no more introduction. Kyle mentioned to Rachel, who smiled, motioned to Rachel, who smiled and waved at the camera. Hello, Kyle, she said. I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm sure we'll have a lot to discuss, so... We might as well dive right in, said Kyle. I'm very ready, said Rachel with a winning smile. Wait, winning? <laughs> in a shock, Kyle realized he had never bothered to prepare any notes for the interview. Knowing he had the eyes of millions upon him, Kyle came up with a solution quickly. Um, blame Rachel? Run away or play dead? I'm gonna envision in my mind what's gonna happen. Run away. Ah, Kyle ejected out of seat and ran out of the position. Uh, what? He ran out of the studio as quickly as possible. Where did I get position? <laughs> After it became apparent that Kyle was not coming back, the producer ended the episode with every and everyone went home. And by running away. Okay. Let's just go and do this seriously. Exit the bed. Sit at desk. Second drawer. Small key. Back to desk. Write notes. Uh, should I go and ask silly questions or not? Are you a mother? I never got to ask her any questions in the interview. So I have 30 hours. I had 30 hours. Now I have 24 hours. One day. One day. Is your mother a mother? Am I a mother? Yes. Probably. No. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a mother. Mashed or blended? Hmm. Let's ask about the egg. And I purposely ran over a puppy. Are you guilty of running over a puppy? No. Okay. Hmm. Back to room. Ah, uh, exit. Let's try scavenging. Ah, uh, Kyle quickly crashed down on the floor, realizing his immediate need for back to the bedroom. That's it. Check lock door. Oh, wait. Move the kitchen. Check pantry. Unlock with small key. The pantry door lock creaked as if it hadn't moved for years, but eventually opened. Look in pantry. Uh... Kyle's pantry stored this massive amount of bottled lard. What is lard? I don't know what lard is. What's lard? I'm gonna search that up later. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle grabbed a bottle of lard and stashed it on his person for later use. Open fridge. Let's eat the crust. Kyle started scraping streaks of crud and spots of mold off the walls of his fridge. How do you have mold on your fridge? Uh, more. After waddling into a crusty, moist ball, Kyle popped it into his mouth and began to chew. Several minutes of crunching later, Kyle finished and had swallowed the ball whole. It felt sticky in his stomach. At least I ate. Uh, let's go to the tax store. More. Yes. Wait, what? I didn't have clothes? I didn't have clothes. Oh, 
<laughs> I forgot about that. Kyle waved and smiled broadly. Rachel uncomfortably averted her eyes. Kyle started making his sounds, his rounds around the room, greeting each crew member, none of whom looked at him directly. Wait, I slept naked? I don't sleep naked. Kyle do. Kyle does. I don't. As <laughs> it became apparent that Kyle had no intention of leaving, Rachel had made some excuses and ex exited the set. One by one, the crew followed the suit. Kyle was left all alone. Ugh. Don't you do this. I, I need to ask her questions. Choose an outfit. Suit of armor. Back to room. Uh, sit at desk. Write notes. Am I a mother? I need to ask my questions. Mm, uh, move the kitchen. Open the fridge. Prepare breakfast. Eat. Return to kitchen. Uh, return to hallway. Uh, leave apartment. Let's go to the tech store. Uh, steal techno gym. What is techno gym? Cal walked into the clean white tech store. He was greeted by techno gym. An elaborate cut out mascot playing soft music from a small microphone. I'm gonna steal him. Quickly, before the attendant could acknowledge him, Kyle grabbed Techno Jim by the shoulders. Finding that Techno Jim's cardboard feet were bolted to the ground, Kyle started to heave, heave upwards. Several tugs. After several tugs, Techno Jim broke free, leaving one foot and one leg behind. Kyle glanced at the attendant, which was staring bewildered, and ran outside. Continue with the day. Continue with the day, and now I have Jim. <laughs> Kyle walked in, out into the middle of the road and took a long, pandering look around him. Pondering. Uh. Oh. I just knocked on the on Gabby's door and just showed up and... Bye! <laughs> Sitting across from his host's chair was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. Okay. Wait. Answer politely. Shake hands. There was an option there. I need to read these. Hmm. Took their seat. Start broadcast. Introduce Rachel. Yes. I've already read all of these. Very ready. Kyle produced the notes he had taken earlier. Am I a mother? Rachel, am I a mother? Kyle looked at her very seriously. Rachel was visibly con unsure of how to respond. Well, Kyle, I think you might be a better source of answering that question than I am. But do you think I'm a mother? Asked Kyle, f pushing further. Rachel paused for a second before answering. I think you inspire youth to pursue STEM fields. STEM fields, she answered. Kyle asked another question. Ever eaten a raw egg full? Hey, Rachel. Ever eaten a raw egg full? Asked Kyle. Um, like shell and all? Asked Rachel. Kyle continued. I have, like, a lot. It's really bad, though, sometimes. I spit it back up. There was silence. It actually gets easier the more you do it. She continued Kyle without losing momentum. So don't start, I say. Rachel chose not to answer and look in another direction. Kyle asked another question. I purposely ran over a puppy. Hey, ran over a puppy on purpose, said Kyle. Everyone in the studio froze. <laughs> Kyle spread his hands out wide. It's a joke! He stared, started laughing from the bottom of his stomach. Nobody laughed with Kyle. Several minutes later, he stopped laughing and moved on. Kyle asked another question. Are you guilty? Rachel, are you guilty? Kyle threw his questions on the floor, stood up and pointed at her. Rachel, do you plead guilty or on guilt? Not guilty. On guilt? What? <laughs> Rachel's eye twitched slightly. Guilty of what, dear Kyle? She smiled disingenuously. Guilty, spat Kyle, of your crimes. Rachel did not answer. Her eyelids both started twitching uncontrollably. After reading the final question, Kyle looked up from his, from his paper. Well, Rachel, well, Rachel, 
I think that's all I was planning on asking you. If that's the case, Kyle, may I ask you something in return? Asked Rachel, smiling one more time. Why exactly did you decide to wear a suit of armor today? Before Kyle could answer the broadcast, cam the camera shut down and the broadcast was over. Kyle returned home knowing the interview had gone well. But as he lay in the bed and drifted in to sleep, he felt that perhaps something was still missing. Ooh, more world options. Ooh, maybe I unlocked the door with my armor. Kyle prepared very well. Okay, well I think I'm gonna leave this episode of Kyle is famous here. Uh, I can't read properly. I need to re 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 regain my reading skills. <laughs> I can't even read like. A few paragraphs without shambling and mumbling freaking words. I can't even think of words right now. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you like the video, smash that thumbs up. See? <laughs> if you like the video, smash that thumbs up button as hard as you can. Leave a comment down below on what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Electrify. Electrify with you.